just thought I'd give my thoughts on this whole uh, state enforced secularism bill over in Quebec. Uh, what's going on over Quebec is that last year they passed this bill banning religious symbols from government services. You can't get government services if you're wearing religious symbols. And to me, this just is proof that uh, atheism is just communism. Because if you look at communist countries like China, they, the government is like basically enforcing atheism by the state, basically. And um, I'm a former atheist, so I know how ridiculous and foolish atheism is. But the secularism bill, it's a total violation of freedom of religion, freedom of expression, total violation of it. And it just shows that when you, have, when you give atheism, I mean, obviously, I'm for separation of church and state, obviously, but separation of church and state is not the secularism bill. This secularism bill goes beyond separation of church and state. It goes basically to state enforced secularism. That's not separation of church and state. Separation of, separation of church and state is actually the government does not, does not interfere with religion. So the secularism bill is actually just getting into communism basically because over in China, the state controls the religion. Now obviously the bill doesn't you know control the religion, but it's getting into the waters of state enforced atheism. And again, this just this is no different than what the Nazis did, what the Soviet Union did. And this just shows that authoritarianism, that atheism is basically just authoritarianism. When you have atheism enforced by the state, it's always authoritarian. Because this uh, this bill is again fascism, communism, authoritarianism. It is not. It goes beyond separation of church and state. It goes beyond basically freedom from religion. It's where you're basically enforcing secularism on people. Because it's funny, atheists will claim, "Oh, don't force your religion on us." Well, don't force your atheism on me. You know, don't force, don't force me to not wear. You know, obviously, I don't wear religious symbols, but if I was, don't force me to take it off if I'm going to get government services, because. That's not separation of church and state. That's state enforced atheism, aka communism. Because China does the exact same thing. China has the state control of the religion. You have the register of the state to become a certain religion, and you know, it's communism. And, and this is just proof that state enforced atheism, the secularism bill, that atheism is just communism. You know, communism is based off the philosophies of atheism, and when you let atheism enforce their they're a sci-fi cult by the government, result in communism. Because this is not, uh, again, not. I keep hammering on this point, this is not separation of church and state. This is communism, this is fascism, this is authoritarianism. And you know, I'm not you know, in agreement with Islam or that kind of stuff, but either way, I'm, I'm very for the uh, freedom of religion. Because uh, my Christian forefathers in Roman Catholic Europe were burned and murdered at the stake for not accepting the heresies and false doctrine and, and uh, blasphemies of Roman Catholicism. The, Ro the uh, satanic Roman Catholic Church, they would burn Christians at the stake, Bible-believing Christians like me at the stake, for refusing to bow to the Antichrist Pope, refusing to accept the heresies and false doctrine of the papacy. And this is no different. State-enforced uh, communism, atheism, is just another version of the Roman Catholic papal tyranny over in Europe. It's no different. So that's my thoughts on this whole secularism bill. It's not freedom of, It's not freedom from religion. It's not separation of church and state. It goes beyond that. It goes to where now you're forcing secularism upon people. Which again, it's just communism. It's fascism. It's what Soviet Union did. It's what China does. It's what North Korea does. So I, I've always said to atheists, you know, if you hate freedom of religion so much, if you hate relig religious expression so, expression so much, go move to North Korea. Because in North Korea, religion is banned. It's and it, it, it's kind of funny because these atheists they'll say that oh religion you know kills people. It's kind of funny because two of the most of the worst abusers of human rights, North Korea and China, they're both atheist countries. They're both run by state enforced atheism. It's kind of funny actually. Very hypocritical of atheists to condemn religious people for being you know oppressive and being against human rights. When meanwhile the two worst abusers of human rights. North Korea and China are both run by state enforced atheism. It's kind of ironic. Uh, state enforced atheism is always going to lead to communism, fascism, authoritarianism, all that stuff. So, yeah, the secularism bill, it's ridiculous. And if they enact a bill like this in, in Ontario, I'm not going to follow it because I'm going to obey God rather than man. So, uh, you can be an atheist, but don't force your uh, atheist sci fi cult on me. So, that's how it goes. So. Yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.